Hi, I'm making this video to discuss some of the benefits of mode promoting software on the Amiga computer. Uh, for this video I'm using my Amiga 2000 which has a, a GVP Spectrum graphics card and Indivision ECS and is connected to this Dell 20 inch LCD monitor. I a cardboard box to balance my camera on. So, for starters, there's uh, several mode promoting utilities uh, available. Um, you know, typically uh, you'll find on Aminet uh, New Mode or Mode Pro. Uh, and I actually just tried Mode Pro uh, a few minutes ago and I didn't like it uh, as much. I know it's a little bit newer than New Mode, um, but I found its interface was a little bit less intuitive. Um, but in any case, those uh, you can just put new mode into the search uh, or mode pro, and uh, you know there's a few other utilities out there as well. Um, I think Picasso 96 comes with one. Uh, Cyber Graphics might, uh, etc. Um, in any case, uh, once you have that utility downloaded, uh, you'll need to install it. Um, typically, uh, in my case, I just stuck it into the uh, Workbench Startup. Uh, I need to find it a better icon. <laughs> um, you see that there are some uh, uh, tool tips that can be configured for the commodity through its icon. Uh, for example, uh, the hotkey combination you would like to use to access the application, as well as a uh, menu entry field. Um, you notice that when new mode is running, uh, it creates an entry for itself in your tools menu. So since I just installed this, I'll go ahead and, uh, let's see, access it through its commodity, through its help key. Uh, you can see there's the basic interface right there. Um, you can also open that through if you're running Commodities Exchange. Uh, you can pull it up that way as well. But again, this is the basic interface here. Uh, if Had I been running this longer, it might have a list of saved screens over in this column. We'll just go ahead and open something up right now. Uh, obviously, it only works with system-friendly utilities, games, applications. Um, you know, we'll run um, Zerg, a little system-friendly uh, game. You know, good time killer for a few minutes. So you can see with new mode running, uh, it pops up a, a message there at the top of the screen. Uh, new mode, the display mode of this object cannot be found. Um, you can just OK through that. Um, now this is the main screen when you run any application. It gives you the option to promote it, yes or no, uh, and if you do promote it, what screen mode do you want to promote it to? So for the first time here, let's just say no. Uh, down at the bottom it gives you the option of save, use, or this time. Uh, this time is a good option uh, if you want to just use something as a test, uh, you know, without committing to it. Um, you know, obviously if you saved it, it would use that new screen mode every time you launched that application. So we'll just say no this time. And you can see once my monitor adjusts to that screen mode, here's Zerg in all its uh, 320 by 232 color glory. So we'll quit that, and um, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, rerun it again. Uh, however, this time we'll go with Promote Yes, and um, I'm going to pick a screen mode. Uh, let's do uh, NTSC Low Res Laced. Now, obviously, since it's a 32 color screen mode, uh, you wouldn't want to use a screen mode that supports fewer than 32 colors. It might work, it might not, even if it did, uh, you know it's not going to be pretty. So <laughs> we'll just use a NTSC low res lace 32 colors uh, screen mode um, this time. 
So you can see now Zerg comes up. It has been promoted uh, to the 320 by 400 screen mode. Um, now Zerg isn't able to take advantage of the additional screen real estate. Uh, you know, it just wasn't coded that way. Um, but it does promote correctly to uh, the higher resolution screen mode. I'll go ahead and quit out of that. And um, now I'm going to show you an advantage uh, of a, uh, a utility that is able to take advantage of the uh, higher resolution screen modes that you can promote to. So we'll just use um, Studio 16. Now Studio 16 is, uh, is a system friendly application. Uh, it's coded to run at uh, NTSC high res laced 8 color screen. Uh, you know, which is a standard, uh, you know, workbench resolution. We'll just go ahead and uh, say no at this time, and we'll run it just so you can see what that looks like. So this is the Studio 16 interface. Uh, you know, for people that are familiar with that, it has a lot of uh, you know mixers and uh, you know audio editing capabilities. It, uh, however, it is not able to s change the screen mode from within the application itself. Uh, it doesn't have, um, you know, it only has these very basic, uh, you know, as many older Amiga applications did, you know, they only have these very basic settings for, you know, you can change this color, you can change the colors, or you can interlace it or not. Um, but again, very basic uh, settings on this older application. So, we'll go ahead and quit out of that, and uh, now I'm going to run it again, only this time we're going to choose Promote Yes, and we're going to pick, uh, let's pick a high-res uh, spectrum screen mode, 1024 by 768 so natively, it was originally running at 640 by 400 so I'm going to bump that up to 1024 by 768 which is a uh, you know pretty significant increase in the amount of available screen real estate for this application. So you can see before whereas you know these uh, these windows filled up the entire amount of available screen real estate now you've got all of this additional space here so, you know, and since it's a system friendly, you know, this is a little bit uh, more intelligent program than, you know, a, a simple game like Zerg. Uh, you know, it's actually able to take advantage of this additional real estate. You know, like if I were to open up something big, you know, so we can drag that out. So you now have a, you know, much more. Uh, available workspace. And, uh, you know, really that's the advantage of a mode promotion utility uh, or commodity uh, is that it allows you to, uh, you know, take an older system friendly application that might have been hard coded to run at a certain screen setting and promote it to a more modern screen setting. Uh, you know, what the application does with that additional real estate obviously varies by the application. Some can take advantage, some cannot. Um, but, you know, great for productivity tools, you know, pretty much anything you run through Workbench um, will, you know, you can affect it one way or the other. Um, also good for uh, if you're trying to promote a 15 kilohertz screen mode to a 31 kilohertz, uh, you know, for example, to get an older application to uh, you know, to display on a um, um, more modern monitor. Um, obviously, I don't have that problem because I have a hardware scan doubling through the Indivision ECS. Um, but you know, of course, many people don't have that type of hardware available. So, Nerf Distant Suns would work. I haven't really tested a lot of this software. Um, let's try Wordsworth. Let's promote it to, we're just going to do one more test here. Let's try it at this.
Okay, well, again, with with Wordsworth, that you know, after a little, it, it looked like it had a little problems with that menu that first opened up here, but once the application itself is open, uh, you can see that uh, it does appear that you know that this application you know would greatly benefit from you know these higher screen modes you know for your any of your uh, you know word processing tasks. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, again, uh, there's a variety of utilities available, uh, you know, for mode promotion. And uh, if you're using a modern, if you're using an Amiga with a uh, modern display device, a modern monitor, uh, you know, it can give you a lot of additional capabilities for, uh, you know, bringing older system-friendly utilities up to more modern standards. Uh, hope this video has been helpful. Thank you.